I tend to find that for me, assistive technology has allowed me to be more involved with community organisations. You know, things like that I would never have been able to do 10, 15 years ago. I would have had to have somebody help me with that and therefore that negates me actually doing that myself. That I'm able to do things without people thinking, oh, I'm going to have to do that job for that person because they're blind. That's a big thing to take out of it. My name is Mark. I am a person who is blind and have been since birth as a result of rubella. Assistive technology has changed my life in many different ways. So the assistive technology that I have has allowed me to be very independent in my life and um, you know, I'm able to minimise the, the need for me to have um, support workers. All through my life I've been using Braille to, to do my writing and reading, but more importantly it's allowed me to explore avenues such as uh, mathematics, which is where my qualifications are in, in maths and computer science. It also has allowed me to be able to present to, to groups and to work with um, people in a way that you would expect from a sighted person. Technology has improved over the period in the 80s, 90s and it, certainly in the 2000s and even up till now. The iPhone for instance, just to be able to pick up an off-the-shelf product and use it with its assistive technology software was mind-blowing. The screen reader is a, a, another program that's installed onto a computer that allows uh, me to access the information that is displayed in a way that um, I can actually listen to it. Same thing on the phone, so the phone has a built-in screen reading um, component. From 1 p.m. until 4, call of duty p.m. If you are able to attend, could you please RSVP guide dogs to the following address. There are assistive technologies that help with the identification of products and labels that I tend to use for, for marking um, food products, etc. These are a major, major improvements over the last 30 to 40 years that have allowed um, people like myself with low vision and who are blind to access information far more independently than we've ever been able to do. One of the most important things as a blind person is getting around safely and being able to do so effectively and quickly. So for me to, to, to achieve that, I use obviously a white cane. Basically that allows me to um, find obstacles or um, make sure when I'm walking that I um, don't kill myself in the process by uh, you know, tripping over um, some bad concrete or yeah, yeah um, things like um, finding curbs etc. Other pieces of assistive technologies that I use, global positioning service apps or, or, or um, specially made uh, devices, they allow me to know where I am at any one particular time. Also they provide what everyone would normally would use them for and that's turn by turn directions that can be used either as a pedestrian or a person in a car. So it's quite useful, especially when I'm in taxis and I'm not sure where the taxi driver is going. Uh, I can have the, the, the GPS device sitting in the background telling me where we are and you know, what, um, what turn to expect. On Elizabeth Street. The best part of my life now with the assistance from assistive technology, the options uh, the ability to say oh, I have options now that are available and being able to say okay well if I want to explore something I can with assistive technology.